going back across uh, to Helsinki, where that crucial meeting between U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin is all set to begin in just a few moments from now. Remember, earlier we got your visuals of the two leaders arriving in Helsinki for that crucial meeting, one which is being viewed by the international community as uh, a significant one, also coming at an equally significant timing, remember, uh, in the midst of the allegations and the controversy surrounding the uh, Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election and the domestic politics in U.S. and the controversy which is... Uh, uh, been raging in the U.S. over that uh, controversy has uh, attracted uh, a lot of uh, scrutiny. Uh, this meeting also coming under the shadow of uh, the uh, uh, of uh, the uh, statement that was made by U.S. President Donald Trump of low expectations from this meeting. But that said and done, a host of issues that are expected to come up for discussion, including the war in Syria, including the annexation of uh, Crimea, are. Uh, Vladimir Putin is all set to meet U.S. President Donald Trump in just a few moments from now. And since the Cold War, Russia and the United States have been on uh, the opposite sides of the spectrum, to say the least. But Trump and Putin seem to be uh, the part of, uh, seem to be on the path of forging new ties. Apart from the key issues on the table, the personal chemistry between the two leaders will also be in focus. In terms of uh, temperament and style, the two presidents could not be any more different. While Vladimir Putin is never caught off guard in public, U.S. President Donald Trump is known to speak off the cuff. Putin is off uh, social media and does not even own a smartphone. The Kremlin often relies on domestic media to spread the president's opinion. In sharp contrast, Donald Trump puts his opinions out on social media, while the Russian president rarely shows his displeasure in public, uh, maybe raise an eyebrow to express his emotion. His American counterpart, though, is often caught angrily contradicting his own advisors in public. So uh, a lot of uh, body language uh, dissection that's also going to be done over the next few hours uh, we will wait and watch uh, for the first visuals come coming in uh, just a few minutes from now of the two leaders sitting across the table and holding that one-on-one -on -one discussion but uh, like we've pointed out a host of issues that are on the table as far as that crucial meeting is concerned in just a few minutes from now we will have uh, the two leaders uh, sitting down for a one-on-one -on -one meeting given the timing uh, this of course coming in the backdrop of the controversy surrounding uh, the Russian meddling allegations in the U.S. Uh, 2016 presidential election. This is also uh, coming in uh, very close on the heels of uh, uh, 12 Russians indicted on a Friday as far as that probe is concerned. Uh, so uh, a lot of that uh, is going to be uh, weighing in as far as the talks are concerned. Both the leaders, though, will feel they have won simply by meeting uh, with the eyes of the world upon them. It's also been an interesting last few months for U.S. President Donald Trump, specifically given the uh, uh, backlash he's faced uh, domestically and internationally on a host of issues. Uh, but it's also been uh, a productive uh, few months for him, first with that unlikely meeting with uh, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. And now another unlikely meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, which is all set to begin in just a few minutes from now. Those are the visuals that we're getting to you. Live images from Helsinki in Finland, where the two leaders are going to be meeting. Uh, they are also going to be delivering a joint statement later in the evening, which is a few hours from now.